They've long wreaked havoc in Nigeria. Now Boko Haram militants are increasingly targeting Cameroon. Boko Haram kidnapped 135 people and killed at least eight others last Wednesday after weeks of suicide attacks, shootings and abductions. But Cameroon is fighting back. The country's top army generals met their Chadian counterparts in the northern city of Marua on Thursday. They announced an extra 2,000 soldiers to protect locals. And a beefed-up regional task force will go into action soon. Cameroon has also deported more than 2,000 Nigerians who were living in the country illegally as part of new security measures intended to flush out potential insurgents. Nigeria and Cameroon share a long border. We must say that it's porous, but this is for the benefit of people who live there and as such, therefore, we must develop security measures along the border by allowing people to live in peace as they used to do. Even in the cities further south, security is being tightened. Last month, the full face veil was banned and residents are regularly subjected to security checks. But despite these efforts, the number of attacks is on the rise. Boko Haram has killed more than 800 people in Nigeria, Cameroon and Chad in just the last two months.